you guys realize like I love haul videos but that means I also have like a spending problem <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's gonna be a haul. Um, it's gonna be quite a bit of stuff actually. I tried some new companies so I'm gonna let you kind of know my experience with those as well as like the products I got, um, what I like, what I dislike about the products. So if you're interested keep watching. The first company um, and it's actually a new company um, is called Kindred Black. Um, and it's actually like an online apothecary that has like a lot of organic, uh, like small indie companies. It's actually really cool and then they do have like one of a kind items for like jewelry, house goods, things like that. Um, I just stuck with more of the skincare um, and like wellness products just for a start. Everything came very nicely packaged. I do have a picture that I'll insert somewhere on the screen that way you guys can see how everything came. A few skin kind of products. Um, as you guys know I use rose water so I actually wanted to try their brand the Kindred Black Organic Iranian Rose Water. Um, it's pretty um, cool. I haven't used it yet so I can't say if it's great or not but like I use rose water all the time um, as it is. It smells really good. It's 100% organic so if you're somebody that's looking to uh, switch over, get more organic products into your line, um, into your line, into your skincare routine, this would be a good option especially if you have sensitive or red skin. It's a little bit pricier. Normally my toner is like $12. This was $25. So we'll see. If it makes a big difference then I will spend the extra money on it but if it's kind of the same then you know I might stick with my other one but I wanted to really try it. Next is the Kyoko lip balm. What I like about it is that there's no petroleum in it for your lips. Like I'm trying to transition into more natural and organic um, products for myself. So some of the products you'll see today um, contradict that. But it's kind of hard when you spend the money on it you really want to use it. This is great. It's actually um, scented with honey. Um, so it smells really good. It absorbs right into your lips. It's a very smooth consistency of a very little goes a long way. I even use a little bit of it like on my cuticles if I'm kind of in a pinch and my nails are really cracked or if my hands have any dry spots and it absorbs really easily. It comes in a fairly big size especially for how little you need. Now to like the wellness products. So this is Sisters of the West. Both of these products are going to be by them um, and this is actually like an herbal blend that they have um, so it doesn't come with any rolling papers. Um, or anything like that and you can also make this into a tea. Um, it's interesting I haven't had in a tea yet but as a tea they say it's supposed to be a good aphrodisiac so I haven't tried that out yet. I'll let you guys know and if you do smoke it it just has like very calming properties especially if you have like anxiety and you're trying to transition to not be using uh, medicine from a traditional doctor. Um, I have tried smoking it once. I didn't feel like a huge difference but I'm also not um I'm also not super familiar with having to roll anything up so it could be like I just really sucked at rolling it up or I didn't use enough. So I'm going to give it another shot but I'm going to try it as a tea just to see like how it tastes also not exactly for the aphrodisiac properties or anything. Next thing is the uh, tincture I got. So this is the, I pronounce it Futuro, I'm, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Um, so a tincture is pretty much a blend of um, herbal stuff, herbs, I guess. They actually distill it, I believe they say, with alcohol. So this is actually made with 80 proof vodka. They have three different ones on the website. Um, this one specifically is for if you have sleeplessness, if you have anxiety. As you guys can see, I kind of got them together to see if they would help because sometimes I get like a little anxious just to see if I can find a natural way to uh, calm myself down. I have used this uh, twice now. And they say you can use 20 to 60 drops if you're having insomnia. I just take that as sleeplessness because I don't have insomnia. And I actually did 50 drops because my tolerance for medicine is very high. After about a half hour, I felt um, a little like drowsy. Uh, so I, I feel like it did work in that aspect that I felt drowsy and when I laid down I kind of went to bed within 5 to 10 minutes of laying down. I'm pretty aware of how my body reacts to things so I do think that it works especially if you're trying to find something that's not NyQuil. This was 30 bucks so not bad especially I mean I've used it twice and it's still pretty full like it comes up to the line so it's still pretty full. Um, so I feel like as long as you don't use this like every day that it could definitely last a while. Anything that I got from this from this um, online apothecary is like beautiful packaging. Moving on, um, I got some things from Sephora. 
So this is something that I kind of mentioned a while ago in my skincare routine. This is like my all-time favorite. Um, this is the first one that they came out with the original one by Glam Glow. Um, it's the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliant Treatment. So technically it's supposed to be like exfoliating and tightening and it's called Youth Mud because it's made for, I guess, anti-aging. Um, I don't feel like it's exactly anti-aging, but if you're having any trouble like with dullness, having some breakouts, or if you have like a special event the next day, I would definitely use this mask at night. So sometimes I do feel a little bit of heat rush to my face and a little bit of burning in my cheek area, but nothing that doesn't like dissipate. It doesn't just feel like burning for the full uh, 10 minutes that I have it on. Every time I use this at night, I wake up the next morning and I look like really refreshed. Next thing I am trying, um, I guess just like a mini update. So I know I mentioned the Ren Ever Calm Serum. After about three weeks of using that, I started getting tiny milia um, on my cheeks. So um, unfortunately, I had to kind of go back to the drawing board and find something that was going to help calm the redness. Uh, I got the Skin Ink Serum. Now, the only thing I will say I don't like about this is that it's $45 for this tiny thing. And they say to use three drops um, twice a day. Because I'm only focusing on my cheek area, I'm just going to be using one drop in the morning and at night because I've only used this for maybe two days and it's, it's like barely half the bottle in there. And for $45, like I can't be buying one of these a month. I do like it absorbs right into the skin. Um, no breakouts so far. Um, I do feel like my skin is dramatically less red, which is awesome. Um, it doesn't feel tacky. Put this on and then use your moisturizer and then go on with your makeup and I didn't notice a difference. It, it's not like my makeup went on worse or anything. And it is a licorice serum. So um, if you guys know anything about licorice root, it helps draw out redness, it helps fade scars, things like that. Skin Ink, I will let you guys know if you go to Sephora, you can actually mix three of the serums because they have about eight to ten to choose from um, whatever problems you're struggling with with your skin and you can make one powerful serum. I only needed one so I got one and I really like it so far. I'll keep you guys updated on if I actually like it in the long run. Last thing I got from Sephora which I only have the box because I returned it um, is the Herbivore Lapis Blue Tansy Balancing Oil. Um, this is what the box looks like. It's a nice blue color because the blue tansy in it. And it is supposed to help um, calm irritation and redness. Now once again, I feel like my struggle is that I find things that actually do help the redness because the oil did help the redness a lot. However, I started getting breakouts and that kind of defeats the entire purpose of trying to calm down the redness if I'm going to just be breaking out causing more redness. 100% natural, it says it on the box. So if you're somebody that's looking for 100% natural line, I would say herbivore is really cool. Um, a lot of people have great success using this if they have any rosacea, any acne, um, any redness to their skin. Aside from breaking me out, this oil would have been something that I would have totally used. Um, oh shit. <laughs> Moving on to Lush. I've been using their deodorant actually for like a while and then I couldn't make it to Lush one day and so then I ended up going to Target and just getting like Tom's which was horrible. So I forgot what their deodorant's called but they only have one deodorant. So it comes in like little blocks. You can definitely get them, you know, bigger but I cut them because then they're just easier to hold and like put on um, and then I just leave them in a small jar so they don't dry out or anything like that. It does help stop any scent. It's not like overly herbaceous where you feel like a plant or like anything like that but it does help control like the smell and it does slightly control a little bit of sweat. I am growing out my hair under my arms just because I just don't feel like shaving um, and so I do notice that I'm sweating a little bit more. This doesn't stop 100% of the sweat but when I do sweat it doesn't stink and then I'm not sweating as much as I normally would. Then I also wanted to get a little bit, it's called the Silky Underwear but it's their dusting powder. So I mean I don't normally put powder anywhere because I don't feel like I really need it or anything but I got it just in case because since I am growing out my underarms if I if I did need additional like absorption that I could use this um, it does say that it is lightly scented with jasmine um, and it also has a little bit of cocoa butter so it's supposed to make you feel like really soft and sexy I guess it's a light scent it's not going to clash with your perfume or anything like that God. 
seems to be working uh, pretty good. Um, I just, I really like it. The next thing that I've been trying out for a little bit, um, you guys saw this in my last video, it is their color supplement and I got it in dark yellow. I was always interested in trying this stuff out actually, but when they first came out with the color supplements, they seriously had like one color and it wasn't my color like the color was lighter than I was and as you guys can see I'm pretty fair you can use it by itself so say I'm you know like this and I want to dab it you get a uh, fuller coverage so if you're somebody that has um, a lot more redness acne scars that's how you would want to use it you just want a little bit of coverage feel free to mix this with your daily oil or moisturizer and then you spread it all over your face I just like to use my fingers like how I did in the video it seems to blend a lot better that way there's no scent to it, so you don't have to worry about if you're allergic to fragrances or anything like that. On to some makeup items. So this is going to be like the hardest part. It's not that there aren't any uh, natural or organic options out there. It's just that there's so many cute options that aren't like healthy or good for you. But anyways, I like this color a lot. It's the NARS Valkyrie. It's their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. Um, I really like it. It's a very pretty nude rose color i believe it's 25 dollars and nars gives you like a pretty good amount it's not very drying to me because it is a velvet matte as opposed to a true matte i do get a really good matte finish out of it though um it's just that it's not 100 percent matte like what you uh, think it would be this is why i had you out because you were acting crazy if you guys hear any noise it's dylan just to let you know yes cute though i can't get mad at you you're so cute dylan Anyways, next is actually an American Apparel lip gloss. So as you guys know, or you should maybe know, American Apparel is like kind of rebranding because they filed for bankruptcy and all that stuff. So slowly but surely they're getting rid of their nail polishes, they're getting rid of their lip glosses, they're getting rid of accessories, things like that. It's actually a really, really good pairing with the Valkyrie because they're very similar color. So if you wanted your matte to be glossy that day, you can totally put this on. I like it. It's not very tacky, but it does give you actually decent color payoff. Like it's still sheer enough that you could like swipe it on and not really feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup, but it gives you enough color payoff that you can actually tell like this is the color that you're wearing. It's not just clear. The color Intimate, I'm pretty sure they don't have any makeup on their website anymore, but if you happen to go to the store, it's Intimate. It's a really good color. Very nice basic type of nude pink. Last makeup item is the Pacifica um, Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara and this is what I used in my last video also. I actually really like this mascara. It's a natural mascara where it only uses mineral um, pigments to actually get the black color. They do have a waterproof version for you guys that like waterproof. I don't really like waterproof so I was glad they had it. Um, it's a very huge brush like I'm trying to put it up to my eye so you can see. <laughs> so as you can see it's like a fairly large brush which can actually be a little bit of a problem if you have smaller lashes. For me my my lashes are fairly long so I don't really have trouble with it at all. The only thing I don't like about this mascara is for some reason when you're putting it back in the tube I don't know if you guys can see it's kind of like the brushes the bristles are almost like too big for the brush and so as you're pushing it down some mascara is almost like almost bubbling over like not exactly bubbling over but like a little bit that it's like all over the um the closure part I'm wearing it today and I only have two coats on and it really does lengthen them it defines them really well um I don't feel like it gives you that very unnatural look but if you kept layering this on and did like a third or fourth coat you could probably get that nice really kind of cool spidery look if that's something that you really like to go for and if you wanted something more natural I would say one coat is totally good well that's it for me guys I hope you like this haul video um, please let me know in the description box of course any future videos that you would like to see also if you want a little bit more information on anything that I mentioned in this video in the description box I will be leaving all of the items as well as their prices and links on where to get them thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much and I will see you next week Bye.